Baiklah, soalan yang kedua merupakan soalan daripada topik electric current and direct current circuit. Okey, untuk soalan ini kita ada tiga bahagian. Okey, bahagian A yang mana melibatkan konsep daripada res, uh, konsep electric current ya dan juga Ohm's law. Okey, soalan B melibatkan konsep resistivity dan soalan C melibatkan konsep resistor in series and parallel serta Ohm's law. Okey, dan markah yang diperuntukkan untuk soalan ini adalah sebanyak 12 markah. Okey, dan saya juga dah berikanlah jawapan akhir untuk soalan ini. Okey, so kita akan bincangkan soalan ini. Okey, bahagian demi bahagian lah. Let's start with question 2A. A 6 ohm resistor is placed across the terminal of a 12 volt battery. Calculate the number 1. Current flows through the resistor. And number two, magnitude of charge pass through the resistor in two seconds. Alright, to answer this question, <coughs> maybe to get the idea, we can come out with a circuit diagram. Okay, given in the question, we have a resistor. And the resistor is connect to a battery. So given that the value of the resistor R is 6 ohm. And the value of the potential difference of the battery given as 12 volt. Okay, as we know that when this is a complete circuit, we have the current flow through the resistor. Okay, we know that the current must flow from the positive terminals. Okay, passing through the resistor and will end at the negative terminal of the battery. Okay, since we have only one resistor, means that we have the same current flow through the resistor. Okay, so for the number one, we want to find out what is the value of the current flow. The concept here, we can apply the Ohm's law. Okay, from the Ohm's law... We know that V equals to the IR. So V given as 12 volt. We want to find the I. And the R is 6 ohm. Therefore, the value of current flow I equals to the 2 ampere. Okay, now for the question number two, we want to find the magnitude of charge. Okay, number two, we want to find the Q. Q here is referred to the magnitude of charge. Okay, given the time taken, T is two seconds. Okay, here we need to apply the definition of the electric current. Okay, we know that electric current I equals to the dQ over dt. Okay, so you need to apply or use the value of current that have been calculated in part 1. So we already get the current is 2 ampere. So, we want to find the dq during the time of 2 seconds. Therefore, 
dq equals to the 4 coulomb. Okay, the unit for the charge must be in coulomb. 